Bulls need eight minutes to play in the game. Seven points for Buford. Bad knees, is he? I like to have a couple of sore knees like that. You have to be careful there. Traveling. Traveling call on West Ball. And every time the UCLA fans hear the referee's whistle, they just hold their breath because they know it's that fifth foul on Walton. But he is not playing as cautiously as I thought he would with four fouls. Eight point lead, UCLA out in front, their ball. Trying for their seventh national title in succession. West Hall fouls out of the game. That's all for him. He did a tremendous job, Kurt. That's a lot to ask a man to come in to try to guard Bill Walton. West Hall did his best. And Walton is at his best tonight. This is one of the greatest offensive showings I've seen him make. He's spinning. He's tipping, he's taking the lob passes, he's doing it all out there. I and mean, when he isn't scoring, he's assisting his other teammates. Larry French talking to his coach, Gene Barto. Clean Gene, they call him. Really a fine gentleman. There are the turnovers. UCLA has committed the most, but they're out in front. Wilt fires and hits again. Now he has the Bruins out in front by 10 points. Keith Wilt starting to catch fire, 12 points. Cook outside. Walton clears the board. See how he protected that ball when it came down with those elbows spread. The way you're supposed to come down off the board with the ball. Ten point lead for UCLA. Seven minutes to play. Seven to go. Good lead. Keith Wilk hits again. 69 57. UCLA with a 12 point lead. 14 points for Keith Wilson. Very quick to shot. Nobody's... Here's a replay. This man's going around for his lean and lean. And the foul occurred, as you can see, before he released the shot. So it was a good call. But I'm popular with the Memphis State fans. Johnny Wood, you know, makes a prediction every year to himself. He writes what he thinks his team's regular season record will be, puts it in an envelope, and hides it away. Then he gets it out when the regular season is over. I asked him, what did you put down this year? He said, I hit it right on the nose, Kurt. I picked our team not to lose the game during the regular season. That's a height of optimism. That too. really is. That basket counts for Larry Finch to give him 26 points in the game. 69-59 UCLA. Now 69-60 UCLA. And Larry Finch has scored 11 out of 13 free throws and 27 points. Oh, banking it in again. 71 to 60. 40 points for Bill Walton. This may be his greatest game of his career. Walton got up there and pushed the shot in laughing at himself. The ball is on the rim and he shoved it in for Memphis State. Even Johnny Wooden smiled on that one. That's 29 points for Larry Fitch. He got credit for the master. 71 62 to the LA. Wilkes again. Walton tips it in. 73 62. 42 points for Bill Walton. The redhead has gone absolutely wild tonight. Bench up. Walton clears the board. Takes his time. 5.45 to play. UCLA leading 
by 11 points as they call timeout. And with a timeout, it's UCLA, 73, Memphis State, 62. Mexico presents Miss Ethel Merman. Trust is a must at Texaco. Trust is a must we know. You want to be able to always rely on the gasoline, gasoline, motor oil, motor oil. and products you buy. In everything that we do at Texaco, we're working to keep your trust. Wherever you go and take the call, trust is a must. So for products you can trust. Come on, everybody, let's hear it. You can trust your car to the man who wears the star. The big bright Mexico star. Hockey on NBC, Montreal Canadiens, meeting the Boston Bruins, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. And baseball, our major league game of the week, starts Saturday, April 7th, will be in Cincinnati. The telecast the game between the Giants and the Reds just starts. Big coverage again by NBC of the highlights of Major League Baseball. Hope you'll be tuned in Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock, April 7th. Memphis State's going to an all-court press now. They're trailing by 11 with 540 to play. Foul called on Greg Lee. You know, Bill Murray doing a great defensive job keeping good position on this man. He's only 5'10". He's a mover out there. That's the 15th foul on UCLA. Farmer up for the rebound. Tommy Curtis is going to report in with a press on. I think they want his speed and dribbling ability. All right, Farmer. Five minutes to play. UCLA ahead by 11. I'm sure he's going to break a record tonight for field goal percentage efficiency. He has scored 44 points in the game. He's playing with four fouls on him. The amazing thing about his offensive output, Kurt, is that they have come from so many different directions. There have been drives, there have been hooks, there have been turnaround jump shots, banks off the baskets, everything, tips. He's done everything you could ask him out there, and he's been tough on the boards. And yesterday at practice, I asked the UCLA coaching staff, do you honestly believe that Bill Walton, one individual, can negate a whole front line and a very powerful front line of Buford, Keenan, and Robinson from Memphis State? And they said, we honestly do. Now, he hasn't done it all by himself, but he's a one-man gang out there. Well, a question on him. You hear all these rumored offers, $2 million, $3 million to turn professional. And UCLA says he'll be back. Johnny Wooden told us that Walton came to him and said, Coach, Coach Wooden, are you coming back next year? 
John Wooden said, yes, sir, I promised you I'd be around through your career. And Walton said, I'll be back. If you're back, Coach, I'm back. So, from all indications, he's going to turn down fantastic professional offers. They call him the walking franchise. But he's coming back, evidently, and finish his senior year. And Johnny Wooden said, if those offers are true of $2 million, I'd be the first to tell the boy to take it. To help his family, to help his, to set his entire future. So if that's what he wants to do, I'm going with him. He's an amazing man. Memphis now is substituting players in this game. They have uh, set in Duck McKinney, number 40. They have also in there Clarence Jones, number 44. Walton again on the rebound. Just under four minutes to go. And unless Memphis State catches fire, UCLA is going to win its seventh consecutive national title, its ninth in the last 10 years, and its 75th game in a row. They have all kinds of other records. Every time they take the court, they set a record. And they've had a real game tonight given to them by Memphis State. 325 to play. A 13-point lead for UCLA. Jump ball. Here's Larry Finch coming back in. Now he wasn't. Come on, come on. Wooden claims that he's a better coach now than he's ever been because of experience. But every year I learn something. There's a pass down to Wilkes. Banks it in. 77, 62. Larry Wilkes has 16 points now, 12 in the second half. He made many of the All-American teams as a junior. Incidentally, everybody on the floor for UCLA, but Larry Farmer will be back next year. That's right, they graduate three seniors this year. That's Larry Farmer, Swin Nader, and Larry Hollifield. And on the court right now, Greg Lee, Tommy Curtis, Bill Walton, and Keith Wilkes are juniors, and they'll all be back next year. And a good-looking freshman team coming up. Well, Cooper's pass, out of bounds. Bill Walton down, he really hit the deck. Walton hit the deck, hard. He's being Larry up Finch up. helping him. Larry Finch comes over to help him. And the Memphis State player standing ovation for him. He put on one of the great shows tonight of this tournament history. His 44 points breaks Gail Goodrich's 42 points in a championship game. That's a championship game. Walt is limping off as he hit the floor. He controlled the backboard. He made 21 out of 22 field goals, and he hit 10 out of 10 in the second half. Here's a replay on that. He was shot as block, and behind the play, you can see Walton go. This is their 75th win in a row. The only player suited up for every one of those wins has been Larry Farmer, the only player. Tommy Curtis has the rebound, 20 seconds to go. We want to thank Art Hoffman and Dennis Venetian tonight for their fine job on the Art Hoffman and Dennis Venetian. The tip game is good by Tommy Curtis. And just see again, UCLA has won another national championship. Their seventh in a row, nine out of the last ten for Johnny Wood. The Wizard of Westwood, Gene Bartow, very graciously congratulates him. 42-year-old coach, Johnny Wooden, 63 years old. But you know, beyond that 75 in a row, UCLA was won tonight. They have won 94 of their last 95 games, and they have won 144 of their last 146 games. They're cutting down the net, symbolic of the national title. That's the final score. UCLA 87, Memphis State 66. We'll be back to recap the action in just a moment. To the equitable agent, no two people are alike. Is there anyone else in the whole human race with your kind of style and your kind of grace? 
No two people are exactly alike, and that's what the Equitable Agent never forgets. All his training and thinking are shaped around you and your life insurance needs. To the Equitable Agent, there's nobody else exactly like you. Nobody else like you. Several months ago, a team of experts tested Opal's Manta Rally and cars from around the world as part of Motor Trend Magazine's Car of the Year competition, and test they did. When it was over, the Manta Rally was voted Sports Sedan of the Year. Manta Rally, drive one at your Buick Opal dealer, then you be the judge. The winning coach, another national championship, seven straight. John Wooden, does victory taste sweeter after seven straight than any of the others? No, Tommy, I'd say the first one is always the most important. And uh, each one after that is just like a dressing, uh, extra dressing. Uh, we're very happy. I'm very proud of this uh, group this year. Uh, they have uh, battled under lots of adversity and lots of pressures. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the long winning streak and... Uh, and uh, oh, just a lot of little things that made it extremely difficult, but uh, they didn't uh, lose their poise, in my opinion, all year long, except against Indiana on Saturday for a short period, and I'm extremely proud of them. Bill Walton's performance tonight is one of the greatest in collegiate history. What's your impression? Oh, I think unquestionably it is, and uh, he's just a tremendous youngster. Uh, he, he's an emotional youngster. He shows uh, his feelings, and uh, when he fouls, or uh, thinks he fouls, he nods, and when he doesn't, he shakes his head, and when he gold hands, uh, if he thinks he did, he nods. If he didn't, he shakes his head. A tremendous youngster, a very emotional youngster. Will he be coming back for sure next year, for his senior year? Well, he indicated to me, uh, even as late as this morning, that he was looking forward to playing at UCLA next year, and he's never given me any other idea. And all this uh, that you hear outside, I think, is just supposition, maybe wishful thinking on the part of some people. And we'll see you back also. Yes, Tommy, I, I definitely will be back next year. Uh, Coach, congratulations, uh, thank you, and thank you very much for a great post-game right. interview. I want to present you a copy with this book that Jack Tobin wrote about me, and they call me Coach, and I'd like for you to have it, Tommy. Coach, thank you very much. I'll read it with pride. And now, up to Jim Simpson. All right, Tom, we've been asking all week long, can anybody here beat UCLA? The answer is obvious. No, nobody did beat UCLA. Although Memphis State, hooray for them. Gene Bartow and his boys did a whale of a job. Next year, we'll try again. Will UCLA win eight in a row? We move on to Greensboro's Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina for next year's national championships. NBC will be there. The night belongs to UCLA. Kurt? Thank you, Jim. Four fine teams in this tournament. Providence College had the bad luck to lose their star rebounder, Marvin Barnes, with an injury. But they featured Ernie DiGregorio, who put on a sensational show here. Indiana really gave uh, UCLA one of the most difficult games they've had. Memphis State tonight played them tough for the last five or six minutes, and then UCLA finally wins it. And the beat goes on for UCLA. Returning most of its team next year, they'll be top-heavy favorites again. Somebody has to beat them sometime, and when it's going to happen, We'll have to wait and see. We hope you enjoyed the NCAA tournament. On behalf of Tom Hawkins, Kurt Gowdy saying so long from St. Louis. Next week for a sports doubleheader with NBC's coverage of WCT 73 live from St. Louis, followed by National Hockey League action at 3 p.m. between the Montreal Canadiens and the Boston Bruins, right here on NBC. Hollywood's Night of Nights, the Academy Awards, tomorrow night on NBC. You open it. You open it. Come on! You open it. Oh, you open it. No, I opened it the last time. You opened it. Look, look, look. Hey, hey, I'll open it. <laughs> What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> look out for the bowl. Look at the bowl. Nobody be called.
Lick you like shit. Look out for the bull. Nobody makes malt liquor like Schlitz. 